hey what's up friends this is rajesh and you're watching input output campus so today in this video we will discuss about a new question which is find the target elements positions okay so this is very interesting question so let's discuss about the question okay you are giving a zero indexed integer array nums and a target element target okay you are giving a zero indexed integer array nums so here you can see in the example the input given is a nums array okay and it start from zero indexed okay and the target element target and in the input there is a target element also okay a target index is an index i such that nums of i equals to target okay nums of i will be equal to target okay return a list of the target indices of nums after sorting nums in a non decreasing order okay you have to first sort this array nums and then you have to return a list of target indices where nums of i equals to target you have to sort it in non decreasing order that means you have to sort the array first in a increasing order okay if there are no target indices you return an empty list the return list must be sorted in increasing order your returned result order must be in increasing order okay so let's simplify the question so you are given this inputs and in the inputs there are a nums array and a target element and you have to find the indices of this target element into this array nums and before that you have to sort the array so first so if we sort the array in non decreasing order that means in increasing order then our array then our nums array will be like this okay this will be our array after sorting so now our task is to find the indices of this target element so target element is 4 so what is the indices of this target element into this array nums so here you can see the indices starts from 0 so this is 0 position then 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so the indices of the target element is 5 but there is also one more four is present so its indices is 6 so we have to return its indices so we have to return 5 and 6 and we have to return 5 and 6 in increasing order also that means 5 will be first and then 6 we can't return it like 6 5 so that will be wrong okay so this is the question and hope you understand the question this is very easy to understand so first of all we will sort the array and then we will iterate the array and we will find the target element and we will store its position into a container okay our first task is to sort the array and our second task iterate the array elements and and store targets indices in a container and our final task will be return the result so you can easily write the code using this so before going to the solution please try yourself to write the code okay now let's write the code I will write the code using C++ and first of all write the basic format of the C++ that is as include bit slash standard C++ dot h using namespace standard. First of all write the main function into main and inside this main function we'll write a vector. The type of the vector is integer, so the name of the vector is v and inside this vector. will write this input elements okay so next write the target so a target element was 4 now we have to write a function where we will do all the operations so the name of the function is suppose find target and we will first this vector v and this target and before this main function will write the same function again and its return type will be a vector why because we can use we can return a empty array or array with one element or multiple elements so that's why we'll write here the return type as a vector and this is integer type vector 
then we will write the same function here that is find target function here and inside this first we will write a vector here where we will store all the resulted element and finally we will return the vector for that I write here a vector of integer type so if you don't know more about the vectors or vector is new to you then you can watch my vector videos where i have explained the vector in a very simple way and you will feel more comfortable to use vectors okay and the videos link will be in the description below and it will be helpful for you okay so here the name of the vector is result now our first task was to sort the array elements okay so we can sort the array elements by simply writing a sort function here all the array elements are in this vector v to sort the vector v we can write the vector name v dot begin comma v dot end so this will sort our vector v that is this vector v in ascending order so our array elements will be like this now our next task was to iterate the vector elements so we can easily iterate it using a for loop so for int i equals to 0 i less than v dot size i plus plus and inside this we'll check a condition so what was our condition condition was to check nums of i equals to target if vector of i if the ith element of the vector is equals to the target element then we will store what then we will store the index of that vector element because you want the index so we will store the index i into the result vector so result dot pushback i so i index will be stored into this result vector okay in this way using this for loop so this will iterate all the elements and will store the target elements index into the result vector and finally will go outside of this for loop and will return the result vector because all the indices are stored into the result vector so we'll return result from here so for that reason we have right here the return type as vector of integer type okay if we return a vector from here then we have to write a vector in the main function where we'll store all the return elements so here write a vector of integer type and the name of the vector is suppose answer so this result vector will be returned from here and will store all the elements into this answer vector and finally we will print all the elements so to print all the vector elements we we'll write a for loop for auto i equals to answer dot begin i not equals to answer dot end i plus plus and output every vector elements and will give us space here after printing every elements okay so our code is complete so let's run this so the result is 5 and 6 so here our expected result was 5 and 6 okay and i hope you understand this okay so if you like this video and enjoyed this video so if you have any question or queries regarding this then please comment below thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care